Oh, uh, actually, before that, let's do this. Pastor has a new member thrown out of church who asked for a prayer. This is how, this is how we need to be doing our church services, y'all. This right here is, this is what the real church looks like, my friend. Check this out. Sit down. What are you, what are you coming up here to do? You want, you want to come take over the service? Uh, huh? Service. What, what do you want? What? I just want a prayer, friend. Get out of here. What do you want? You want a prayer? What? You want to take over the church service, huh? You think you're big? Think you're a big man here? It's crazy. Here. Can I get, can I get a little grace? No, no, you can't. No. You, you get out of here. here. Get him out of here. How about no? How about no, I don't pray for you? How about that? What if, what if, what if I didn't pray for you? How about that? You like that? Drag this bozo out. Pull him out. Hey, help him out. Get him out. And you know what? Anybody wants to come up here and take over the service? We'll throw you out of here, buddy. This church is not a free-for-all. This isn't an open mic. This isn't a karaoke bar. Okay? I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. And if you don't like it, then get out. This I is got not... my degree from www.baptistministerbecomeordainedlive.net. You didn't. All right, bozo. All right, bozo. Some church where every first-time visitor and brand-new believer and people who've never even read the Bible are going to come up and take over the service. Not happening. Okay? If you want that kind of watered-down leadership, go to some house church with your Amish buddies and sit around the coffee table with your coffee clatch. Damn. This is a New Testament church. We have a bishop here. We have an overseer here. Like it or lump it. And if you Damn, dude. Shots fired at the Amish. What is? Where did that come from? You know that's got some, some tea. <laughs> There's some context missing on that one. Damn, dude. Dude's taking shots at the Amish. Who hurt you? What Amish man hurt you? That's what I want to know. Oh, my word. If you don't like it, feel free to get up and leave the service at any time. 50% of people walk out. I don't care. Because you know what? I'm not going to pastor a oneness cult. <laughs> I'm not going to pastor a Pentecostal church. I'm the pastor of a Baptist church. <laughs> That's right. He is a Baptist. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Oh, God, I, I got, you got to love it, man. And if you're not a Baptist, then get out! <laughs> Baptist all day! This is a Baptist church! We got a water slide! Not just anybody can use the water slide! <laughs> he went full Bill Hicks on his flock. Yo, for real. <laughs> I can't say, I don't want to use dirty language, but I'm just thinking of that one Bill Hicks bit where he's, like, uh, yelling at the woman heckler. <laughs> I got a blanket, I can do what I want! <laughs> I can do whatever I want because I'm a woman. He just went full Bill Hicks on his pat on his flock. That is awesome, dude. <laughs> Hashtag literally all Protestant. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> that was amazing, dude. That's amazing. That's the that's the kind of cringe we want to see, dude. I need more of that in my life. Um, yeah, legit, Blue Skittle, what <laughs> what being saved does to an MF, dude, for real, dude, for real. We got one more cringe for you. Where is it? There we go. New genre of music just dropped. Yo, yo, babe, wake up. New genre just dropped. It's called medicinal reggae. It's not your, it's not your grandfather's reggae. All right, this is medicinal. I'm creating a new micro genre. It's called medicine reggae. Simply said, medicine reggae is the elements of reggae that we all know and love in music that is presented in a more electronic way and with a healing vibe, and intentional lyrics that transmit a lot of the classics from reggae. Feel the vibe. Can you feel the intention? Activity, love, mindfulness, and other prayer related positive, worthwhile, transcendent topics. <laughs> Prayer. Okay, bro. And uh, if you guys can't see my comment, uh, I think, honestly, is the best comment. Um, I'll take the ban. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'll take the ban for that one, dude. My new micro shot of reggae. It's reggae. <clears throat> I'll take the ban on that one. It was a little worth it. And then finally, finally, a political movement I can get behind. 
a political group I can immerse myself in, a banner that I can feel at home in. Niggas for Trump. Oh, and I mean that. What do you think about the indictments? Oh, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it's going around the country. You know, Fanny, Fanny Willis, she's a, uh, she went to school with my sister. She's full of shit. She was full of shit then. So she's a puppet for the white liberal and that is controlling everything. She's in front, but the white liberal back there pulling those strings, telling her what to do. That's what I think about her, making a fool of herself. Do you think it's going to help his election? Oh, of course it is. It's going to elevate him all the way. I think we should make Trump king. That's how I feel. We should make him be, king. Um, wouldn't that be like, kind of like communist? <laughs> no, nah, there's no way nothing near communist. Now, we're just going to make him king, but we still got our freedoms and rights for everything. He fought that. <laughs> yeah, Trump for king, 2024. <laughs> Yo, Trump for king. We still going to have our rights and all that shit, but, but he just going to be king. My URL. I own that URL. You own that URL? I can't get your name. Really? Oh, my name is Niggas for Trump 2024. <laughs> I can't Derek write that. Gilson, a former, That's my nigga. Former candidate. That I'm a former <laughs> candidate for New York State Governor. <laughs> Derek Gibson, look me up. <laughs> nigga, I'm dead. I live up to it, too. Boy. I can scrap, too, but I can get down. Boy. <laughs> How awesome is that? Not better. How unironically awesome is that? I can't. I got a proven track record. record. You want to try me out? Try to take this shirt off. I'll give you some. Need everybody off the roadway. Sir, I need everybody off the roadway. Take care of yourself, brother. I'm here. <laughs> How awesome is that? Like, like, legit, unironically, so awesome. So based. So amazing. We need more free critical thinkers like that. I mean, you know, you don't got to be the brightest bulb in the box. Just speak your truth, my brother, and that's that's what I'm all about over here at Exposing Powerful Lies. And uh, like I said, finally a political movement that I feel at home with, that I can get behind, and that frankly just inspires me.